With the release of the AMD 5800 X3D processor, now's a great time to be a PC gamer or content creator. Hi, welcome back to Velocity Micro. My name is Charlie, and today we're going to take a quick look at the AMD 3D vCache and how exactly it impacts system performance. In order to understand a 3D vCache, first we need to understand what a processor cache is. You can think of a processor cache as super fast storage that's stored on the CPU. Essentially, it acts as a bridge between the system RAM, aka the DRAM, and the processor. It's often overlooked as a CPU spec in favor of core count and frequency, but it's still very important in determining the overall CPU speed. Processor cache generally comes in three levels, L1, L2, and L3, with L1 being the smallest, fastest capacity, and L3 being the largest and slowest. Now what is AMD 3D vCache? 3D vCache may be the biggest innovation to CPU cache in over a decade. By stacking cache vertically and reducing the width of the die size, AMD has managed to stack almost three times as much L3 cache into their new processors. For example, the Ryzen 7 5800X3D has a stunning 96 megabytes of L3 versus the 32 megabytes of AMD's own Ryzen 5800X and the 25 megabytes on the Intel Core i7 12700K. Now, AMD has not relegated this new technology to only their consumer chips. Server and data center solutions like the third gen Epic models, such as the Epic 7773X and the 7573X, use 3D vCache as well, totaling a whopping 768 megabytes of L3. So, how does this all impact performance? Generally speaking, more cache means better performance, especially with programs that require repeated fetching of data from the CPU. This is especially true with gaming because games are essentially a collection of random calculations and recalibrations they are constantly hitting the CPU to run those processes. This is why AMD is billing their Ryzen 5800X3D as the world's fastest gaming processor. That should be enough information to get you started, but if you want to take a look at any benchmarks or have any questions for us, feel free to visit the website at velocitymicro.com for more info.